Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last lecture, we created our damage system for our police car. So today we are going to create a score system for our game. So go to scripts folder, right click and create a new C sharp script and rename it to GUI manager. Now create a new empty game object, reset its transform and rename it to GUI manager and drag GUI manager over it. Now double click on GUI manager to open it in coder. So the first thing we need is an int in which we will store our score. So we create private int score and it will be 0 by default. We want to increase our score with respect to time so we type score plus equals time dot delta time and right now we are getting an error and it says that we cannot set float into our int so we will convert our time dot delta time to int let's go back to our editor and create a new UI component so select UI and click on text and reset its rect transform and double click on it so that we can see it and now and select 2D if your view is in 3D and now let's change our text name to score text and let's align it on center here change its color to white and let's select best fit and now select this icon here now holding shift and alt select this so that it snaps to the edge and now let's increase its width by 150 and let's change the text to 56 let's change the max size to 50 and let's drag it to the right okay so now we have our score text now let's go back to our script and to use unity ui elements we need to use using unity engine dot ui and now type private text score text and it will be a serialized field and let's go back to our editor now select GUI manager and we have our field here let's drag our score text to the field and now if we click on play you can see our text is not updating because we have not asked it to update so you can see here we have not used our score text in any of the method so here you can say score text dot text is equal to quotation plus score and let's set our score to 0 or score text to 0 at the start so we can just copy this and paste it here we will say score is equal to 0 at the start of every game and let's go back to our editor now if we click on play you can see our score text is set to 0 but it is not increasing with respect to our time now the reason for this is because our time dot delta time is a very small number and it is in a float and we are directly converting it into an integer and that's the reason the float is directly converted to its uh, lowest int and that is zero so what we can do here is we will create a private float and call it timer and in update we type timer plus equals time dot delta time and now change score plus equals 1 and then we check if timer is greater than 1 then we increase our score by 1 set our score text and reset our timer to 0 now the reason we did this is because our timer is a float variable 
so we can set our float variable to another float variable and here we are checking if our timer is greater than 1 that means 1 second has passed we increase our score by 1 and we set our score text and our timer now if we go back now if we play you can see our score text is increasing with respect to our time now let's create one more variable so create a private int multiplier and or we can say score multiplier and we will make it a serialized field so that we can edit it from inspector and by default it will be 1 and here instead of just adding 1 we will also multiply it by score multiplier now if we go back you can see right now our score multiplier is 1 and if I click on play our score is increased by 1 with every second but if I set it to 2 you can see our score gets increased by 2 times every second so depending on how much score you have to increase with respect to per second you can just set it here so now we can calculate our score let's add our object pooling just download the object pooling script from the resources so just drag the object pooling to your project and now just create a new empty game object reset its transform and rename it to object pooling and just drag the object pooling to it now as our police car is a prefab we can just delete it and if you have not created it a prefab you can just drag it into prefab folder to create a prefab of it so let's delete it in object pooling let's set our size to 1 change our element 0 to police car and the name should be same as this prefab drag the prefab to pool object set the pool amount to 4 and select should expand now size set it to 2 and we want also explosion prefab so you can just drag explosion to pool object and change the name to explosion so now we have our object pooling setup so if I click on play we can see our pool objects getting spawned so now we have our score system and as well as our object pooling so thank you guys and i will see you in the next lecture